Welcome back, everyone. Excitement is in the air in Aberdeen as the city gets ready to host its 43rd annual Aberdeen pilgrimage. Thousands are expected to flock the area this year. Our Quentin Smith joins us live in the studio with a sneak peek. Yes, Scott, this is one of the biggest events in the city. Organizers say they're excited because it's a chance for them to show off the rich history and tradition that they have in Aberdeen. These antique antebellum homes and churches are a part of a rich history in Aberdeen. The historic homes date back as early as the 1850s um, through the turn of the century. Five of our historic churches available that are going to be open for touring that date back as early as 1839. History that's expected to bring thousands of people to the Monroe County town for the 2018 Aberdeen pilgrimage. We have so many people come from out of town, from out of the area. Uh, several different states. We've had some from other different countries that come here um, and they seek this out. They seek out the history. They want to see the history. They want to see the houses, what they look like, um, travel through them. We're all dressed in period costumes so they get a little feel for the for the ancient times. Aberdeen Visitors Bureau Director Tina Robbins has been a part of pilgrimage for eight years now. She says the event is unique because the city gets to show off its real roots. Aberdeen is rich with culture and history with the houses that we have um, and the buildings. We have over 200 on the National Register that date back so far. And for them to still be here and for us to preserve that and be able to tell the story. Ten homes along with churches will be open for touring. These are all homes. These are lived in, and the homeowners are there to tell you the stories of those that lived there before them and what they've done to the houses since they've been there and made it their own. Robin says the three day event offers something for people of all ages to enjoy carriage rides, we have storytelling, we have cemetery tours, we have Lots and lots. 5K run, a uh, car show, a proper tea, candlelight tours, lots of things. Now, this year the city is adding a candlelight and garden tour. Robin says each year they try to add something new. Now, the fun takes place this Thursday and will go until, until Saturday. For a look at what to expect, just visit our website at WCBI.com.